Thanksgiving even brings dirty dining deja vu. Tonight, a repeat offender with repeat roach and rat problems. The 13th Chief Investigator Darcy Spears explains why the restaurant owner says that he should not be held accountable. Same door chime, same loud music, same location as the first time this restaurant was on dirty dining. It even has many of the same violations, but one thing is different. I need to talk to you. San Salvador on Maryland Parkway near Sahara was shut down by the health district on November 9th, but the staff said it's not their responsibility. Hi, it's Darcy Spears from Channel 13. They just gave me the phone to talk with you. We're here at the restaurant because of um, the imminent health hazard closure from the health district on November 9th for the cockroach infestation. And I were you the owner on November 9th, but you're not anymore. The man on the phone, who says his name is Chris, explains he's been preoccupied in the process of selling the restaurant. You couldn't keep up with the bills because of the pandemic and that forced you to sell. He took responsibility for all the violations, saying the new owner is not to blame. So you cleaned up all of the violations and then within how long after the inspection did you complete the sale? November 9th was a Monday. He says the sale closed at the end of that week. San Salvador drew health inspectors' attention because of a complaint about the food being old and stale. Inspectors did not find evidence of that, but they did discover the multi-generational cockroach infestation, which caused them to shut the place down. Do you disagree with the extent of the violations that the health inspector wrote up? Chris disagrees with inspectors using the word infestation. They said they counted about a dozen cockroaches, so if you can count that many, it tends to indicate that there are more that they can't see. Inspectors saw live roaches around the kitchen and in the dry goods storage area. You know, but they also found rat droppings in the back, and roaches and rats were a problem when we were here before in 2017. He says they recently set extra rat traps around the outside of the building. Other violations included pupusa mixes containing cheese, beans, and pork that were being used past their expiration time and an open box of raw cabbage stored on the floor next to the three compartment sink. Queso was in the temperature danger zone and open employee drinks sat on the prep table. And what about the dirty conditions they noted in the kitchen with excessive grease and dirty floors and shelves and dirty knives stored as clean? Chris says they cleaned up all the violations. The health district required pest control service and a full deep cleaning. You have confidence that the new ownership isn't going to have the same problems. The restaurant reopened November 12th with the three demerit A grade. It's now called Nuevo San Salvador under the new owner. Los Amigos food truck was shut down November 13th for gross unsanitary conditions and 46 demerits. The truck was on lamb near Lone Mountain when inspectors took it out of service. They wrote up improper hand washing, cooked beef cheek and beans at unsafe temperatures, and double stacked food that was subject to cross contamination, including raw bacon, hot dogs and deli ham that were touching each other and condiment bottles. Bags of raw chicken, raw beef, and raw pork were intermingled in the prep cooler, and an open bag of raw hamburgers sat above ready-to-eat food. Spray incense containers and employee medicines were stored in the same container as food for customers, and a fly landed on an in-use cutting board during the inspection. The owner of Los Amigos did not respond to our phone call or text requesting comment. The food truck returned to the road November 19th with a zero demerit A grade. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.